All right. Today, you guys, we're going to learn how to use our Google Docs. So I'm going to share my screen. And if you have questions about other things after the lesson, we will definitely stay on for those. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and get started because you might have heard I have an appointment at noon. So today, I want you to think about your summer. And I know it seems like we've been in school for a while already and summer might be far from your mind because I was having trouble thinking about what I did this summer. I like before I ever do any kind of writing, I like to do a quick brainstorm. So I'm gonna do a web. I'm sure you've done these before in second grade. And I'm gonna try to go back in my brain to my summer. Looking through pictures is always fun. I wish I would have uploaded some pictures to show you of my summer, but then we'd be here all day. Um, we did a lot of camping this summer. So one of the thing, places we went was the Black Canyon. And we went um, to, so that I'm gonna write camping. That was a big thing we did this summer. And we got to go swimming while we were in the, the Black Canyon near there. We also um, went to Florida at the beginning before all the craziness because I have a lot of family there. So I went to visit my mom. So I saw my family and we went to the beach. Uh, another thing we did this summer, we went to South Dakota and we did Mount Rushmore. That was a lot of fun. Lake Pactola. Stayed in a cabin at Custard State Park. So we did a lot of fun things. And I know that because we are learning something new today and we're gonna be using our keyboarding skills, that I probably am not gonna to wanna to write about everything I did this summer. Now, some of you, if you have the energy and the keyboarding skills and you want to really give a lot of detail, that will be fine. Everybody needs to work at their own level. But today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one little section of my web to focus on. And you might have more than just this to yours, because I don't know what you and your family did this summer. Everybody did different things. And it, you might not have gone anywhere. I know that a lot of people went camping, so you could probably write about camping or maybe even um, playing with your sisters and brothers and being creative at home. It could be anything that you did this summer. So make sure, make sure that you don't say, well, we didn't go anywhere, that's okay. Tom, I did a lot of puzzles this summer. I could tell you about my cool puzzles I did for the time that I was home. And we did a lot of crafting. So you could write about that as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and circle this one, camping, the Black Canyon, I remember we went swimming and I'm gonna write about that today. So the first thing you'll have to do today is kind of brainstorm. What did you do this summer that you would like to share with Mrs. Harrison and Mrs. Aubin that made it special or fun? Okay, so now that I have that, I'm gonna show you in your Google Classroom. So I think we're pretty good at getting there now. And we'll do questions after. So let me show you first what this is gonna look like. So it will be on Friday and it'll be Google Doc assignment. And so let's look for that. Writing about your summer, Friday. It says due August 31st. So I'm gonna click on that. You'll wanna read the directions. And if you have trouble with the reading, uh, make sure to watch the video again because the video will be posted and I will have the directions read to you. Today you will write some sentences about what you did over the summer. Watch and participate in the 1130 live lesson. Click on the link to your own Google Doc. Doc just stands for document assigned to you. Click inside the document and type your sentences. Try to remember to use a capital and an end mark for each sentence, like a period or exclamation mark. Try to, oh, I read that. Use the keyboarding skills, thinking about what we learned yesterday, you have so far. Please type three to five sentences. When you are finished, remember to hit the submit button on your assignment. Now, 
before you ask the question, I'm going to try to answer it. You can write more than five sentences. So it says three to five. That's like your minimal amount. We want at least three. So please, um, if you want to write more, like I said, work at your own level, that is fine. So when I go back to that assignment, it looks like I clicked off. You will see the attachment that says my summer and it says Google Docs. So I'm going to click on that and you will have it titled for you already. And sometimes we have to fill that title in, but Mrs. Harrison already did that for you. I am curious, Mrs. Harrison, I can't see the screen, but is there anyone, and maybe you can flip through, is there mm -hmm. anyone who has done Google Docs or used Google Docs already in second grade? Give me a thumbs up if this looks familiar to you from, third, from second grade. I would It'll, say yeah. I see about half, or a little over half maybe. If you have not seen this, and that is fine, because that's what I'm here for, put your thumb down. Just so I know how many people, about half haven't done it. A little, about 40%, 30. Okay, so I see little, some people are doing both. So maybe yes. it's like, I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is called a Google Doc. You will use it a lot in third grade. Uh, this is where we do the majority of our writing. And you will have a lot of tools to help you. So the first thing you'll want to know is you click on the document. Think of it as a blank sheet of paper, okay? So here I'm in the paper. I'm going to make a title. I'm going to just capitalize. And to capitalize a letter, you have to click on the shift key. My capitalized summer because it's part of my title, my summer. Now, I don't love how that looks. It's so small. So I want to make it at least um, a size 18. It's a size 11. The way I know that is right here in my toolbar. It, if I hover over that, it says font size. But I can't just click on that and make this change. You have to click and drag with your mouse. Hold on. Oh, I've got to undo that. I'll teach you that in a minute. Undo. I want to click and drag. Why is it doing that? Hmm. There we go click and drag over my text for my summer, and then I can change the font size. The font is just with the type of letters we're using here. So it says 11. If I click on the arrow, look at all these choices. Now, I would like you to try 18. I think that's reasonable, and that'll be the one we use mostly in third grade. Now, I want my title to be centered in the middle of my paper. To do that, if you look up here at your toolbar, you will see lines. This one says left align to the left of my paper. And then we have center align. I'm gonna click on center align so that my title is in the middle. And then I also know the titles are underlined. So I have another tool, the U with a line under it, means it will underline my title. Now that is awesome, but I don't want all of my text or words to be underlined, centered, right? So now I click off of it. I don't want it highlighted anymore. And I got to go back to my toolbar so that when I hit my enter button to get to the next line, you got to click the enter button, I see it's centered again. So I got to go back to my toolbar, hit left align, to get it back to the left side, which is where I'll start my keyboarding. And I'm not going to want it underlined either. So I got to unclick underline. Otherwise, my whole paragraph will be underlined. When you write a paragraph, you can hit the tab key or you can click the space bar five times to get your indention to know it's a new paragraph. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. Or like I said, you can click the tab key. This is a lot of information, so don't get stressed out. You're gonna hear this again and again and again from Mrs. Harrison. We're gonna practice this. So now I'm gonna use my keyboarding skills. I'm gonna make sure I see the G and the H for go home. I'm gonna feel for those bumps on F and J for my pointer fingers. I'm gonna sit with my feet flat on the floor. I'm gonna sit up tall. And then I'm going to think about my posture. 
try to be a hand span away. And then I'm gonna write about my summer. Remember to get a capital letter, you have to hold down the shift key while you're typing that letter. So I want a capital T, I'm gonna press the shift key and then press T and uh-oh, it looks like my underline didn't go off. So here's a great opportunity for me to show you how to undo. When you do something you don't like, which I do often, make mistakes, that's how I learn, there's a little arrow that points backwards. It says undo. If I click that, whatever I did wrong goes away. That is one of my favorite tools. So now I can click on the underline icon, make sure it's not gonna do that again. So I'm gonna type capital T. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Oh, let me go back. I'm just gonna backspace that so it won't do that. So I wanna say this summer, I, and I always know when I write the word I, and it stands alone, it needs to be capitalized. This summer, I, whoa, another mistake. You can backspace if you make a mistake or you can use the undo button. I went camping in, and it was actually in Gunnison. Since it's the name of a city in Colorado, I'm gonna capitalize it to put my period, or is it near Gunnison? Hmm. I'm gonna keep it Gunnison. This summer I went camping in Gunnison. Um, you know what? I wanna fix that because I wanted to say this summer my family and I went camping in Gunnison. So watch what I can do. If you want to kind of uh, revise your writing when you're on Google Docs, you can. So I can take my cursor, my mouse here, and click where I want to put the text. This summer, I wanted to say, my family and I went camping in Gunnison. That, now I feel better about it. When you start a new sentence, you have two spaces after a period for ending punctuation. So I'm gonna go back and show you that. So here's my period. Now I'm gonna click the space bar two times. Show me on your fingers how many times you click the space bar after each sentence. Awesome. This summer my family and I went camping in Gunnison. Our campsite was near a huge lake. So I have to tell you, my son, he's crazy. He made me swim in it. And it is so, it was so, so cold. But it was really refreshing once I was numb. <laughs> so our campsite was near a huge lake. My kids and I always put other people before yourself when you're speaking and writing. My kids, they come first and I went swimming in the frigid, I wanna make sure I can paint a picture in your mind so you feel like you were there with me, frigid water. And I'm gonna use an exclamation mark because it was freezing. I was numb when I got out. Okay, I also think that I should mention, well, wait, let's see, I already have quite a few sentences. I should just be done. Well, if you have more ideas and you're feeling good about the typing, tell us more. We would love to hear it. If you are exhausted and that was very difficult for you, I'm happy with that. Today's lesson is really about learning how to use Google Docs and just getting comfortable with this, these new tools. So you figure out what works best for you. And, but don't be lazy. If you did that in a couple minutes, then give us a little more. So I can give you a little more. I'm gonna talk about going to the Black Canyon. We also, I like using those transition words, went to the Black Canyon. And I'm gonna capitalize that because it's a special place. And 
notice that there's a little blue line underneath my writing here. When that happens, you know there's a mistake. And I'm not sure what I did. So you can go to <laughs> tools. And then if you find spelling and grammar check, it will tell me what I did wrong. And then it will ask if I want to fix it. So, hmm, it's telling me I shouldn't have a comma there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, oh, that makes sense. We also went to the Black Canyon. Otherwise it would say we also went to the Black Canyon. So I'm gonna click on their suggestion and make the correction. Now that was a lot. If you're not sure what I just did, I went to tools, spelling and grammar, and then you have to kind of come over here and you click on the spelling and grammar. Now it says my document looks good. I don't have any mistakes. And sometimes the correction's not right because it thinks you're trying to spell a different word, but sometimes it really helps. Okay, I was numb when I got out. We also went to the Black Canyon. It was amazing. I couldn't believe how steep it was. I was afraid that I would fall in. Another exclamation mark. All right, so I've given you quite a bit of information about my camping trip that, that I went on this summer. So I'm gonna reread it just to proofread and make sure it makes sense. This summer, my family and I went camping in Gunnison. Our campsite was near a huge lake. My kids and I went swimming in the frigid water. I was numb when I got out. We also went to the Black Canyon. It was amazing. I couldn't believe how steep it was. I was afraid that I would fall in. Now I'm gonna kinda end my paragraph because that's all I'm gonna write. Now if you are really into writing and you would love to give us more, you could do a new, oh and I, I can see some mistakes I made. I have to go back up here and make show you that this is a paragraph, there we go. You could go to the next line, hit enter, and write more. You could tell me, maybe I could write now about my Florida trip, or then I could do another paragraph about South Dakota. We don't know you yet as writers, so you have to know yourself right now and do what you can. So I'm gonna go back and end mine, and I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna wrap it up with the conclusion and say that I had a great, it was a great camping trip. It was a great camping trip. And now I'm done. So to review, use the toolbar. We're gonna use the font size 18. You have other tools here that we will introduce as we go. I think we have enough for today. You'll wanna use the center alignment. You can um, use the undo button because that's very helpful. And Mrs. Harrison, did I forget any tools? The spelling check under tools, spelling and grammar, anything no, else? No, I think you did great. Um, just, I would mention also, sometimes it predicts, because I noticed when you said it was a great camping, it predicted experience. Yes. So if that was the word you did want, you could just hit tab and it'll put it in for you. If you, but that was not the word that Mrs. Aubin wanted. So if you just ignore it, just keep typing, it will ignore it. So just if you see a word pop up like that, if it's the word you wanted, you can just hit tab. If it's not the word you want, just ignore it and keep typing what you want. And it I don't know that your Chromebooks will do that or not. It, it should. They set up for it. Okay, now the last thing you have to remember is to click share. So, Oh, they that, don't. It, they don't have to hit share because it automatically goes to it. We need a copy for everybody. So it's already in there. Yeah. Okay, so it's in there. It's in there. When they, when they um, are finished, it should, it, we, we will get a copy. Even without them sharing? Yep, because just like our, their Google Docs, that our Google Slides yeah, that we did. Okay, cool. Just making sure. 
Okay, so if um, you have nothing else to add, Mrs. Harrison, then I think we could stop the recording and answer yes. questions. Yes, because Josh has had his hand up, Josh C, and really would like to um, ha say something.